Hi everyone, this is Miss P and this video is about adding decimals. In this video, we will practice adding decimal numbers using the example of 4 and 86 hundredths plus 10 and 4 tenths. When we add decimal numbers together, the most important thing to think about is the place value of all of the digits. If you understand place value, you know that the best way to figure out that place value in each number is to focus on the decimal points themselves. Once you orient yourself by focusing on the decimal point itself, you can identify how much each digit is worth. For example, the digit to the left of the decimal point is always representing how many ones are in a number. That then continues to the left. For example, in this problem, the second add end does have a digit in the tens place as well. On the other hand, if you look to the right of the decimal point, the digit directly next to the decimal point is always going to be the tenths place. You can use that concept to continue going off to the right. For example, in this problem, there is a number six in the hundredths place. Once you have a better understanding of what each digit represents, it's easier to add them together because you know you want to add the ones to the ones, the tenths to the tenths, and so on. In order to solve this problem, I find it easiest to rewrite it vertically, starting with the decimal points. Once I have the decimal points, I can rewrite the add-ends in their proper place value. Four and 86 hundredths plus 10 and 4 tenths. Notice how the digits look almost a little bit skewed right now because there's one extra digit to the left on the bottom add end and there's one extra digit to the right on the top add end. The reason for this is that we're lining up the place value of each digit and there just simply aren't any tens in the first add end and there aren't any hundredths in the second add end. To make it a little bit easier to add, I'm just gonna put a zero in as a placeholder in my hundredths place off to the right there. So now I can add my two decimal numbers together. Now that I have them lined up in the correct place value, I'll add them just like I would add any other numbers just keeping these decimal points in mind. Starting with this hundredths column, since it's the column furthest off to the right, we can add six hundredths plus zero hundredths equals six hundredths. We can move then one to the left to the tenths column. Eight tenths plus four tenths equals twelve tenths, which is equal to two tenths and one, one. Now to the ones place, one plus four equals five ones. And the tens place, just bring one ten down to the sum. Now don't forget to bring the decimal point down to the same place in the sum as it is in the add ends. Once the decimal point has been brought down to the sum, we can clearly see the place value of the digits in the answer, which is 15 and 26 hundredths. So 4 and 86 hundredths plus 10 and 4 tenths equals 15 and 26 hundredths. Remember, anytime you're adding two decimal numbers, make sure to line up the decimal points so that you can make sure that you're adding digits of the same place value.